wants to translate. Interesting. What is this place? The ninth line. The warehouse? Hey, look over there. Those doors are white. Shall we have a look then? Fucking got goddamn Santa Bells. These chromatic doors too? They're all the same though. Well, this one's locked. <laughs> this one won't open either. No luck here. It looks like they have the same locking mechanism as the other chromatic doors. So, these will be the next doors to open. We should go let the others know. Right. Alice and I turned to go, but Kay stayed put. Is something wrong? No. I just feel as if I've seen this warehouse before. Wait, you've been here before? I don't know. Perhaps I haven't been here. Only somewhere very similar. You mean the Floor A warehouse? Perhaps. An Ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. What the hell? Someone else must have opened one of the AB gates. Before we got back? I imagine they don't care what happens to the rest of us. That would be the most logical explanation. In any event, we should return quickly. Do not like Alice's outfit choice. Yeah, let's get going, guys. Is that because there isn't one? Yeah, kinda. It look, it just, it's just like, oh, we're just gonna be lazy with drawing her outfit, because fuck it. <laughs> Why not? Paired up the lazy dressed person with the overly dressed person. Not lazy, underdressed person with the overly dressed person. Talking Any about the robot in the monk suit? <laughs> The full fucking suit of armor slash robotics slash enviro suit. <laughs> Cause for so fuck's sake, it has a keyhole goddamn thing. It has to be a goddamn enviro suit. <laughs> Not who knows what it is. I know, right? Maybe it seals away his power. <laughs> And when he takes it off, he goes, he reaches his true form. And Maybe we all die. Sigma? Jumpy, Junpy, Junpei. Junpei. Where's Tim Miyoji's team? Are they not back yet? Nope. We were the first. Then wait a little longer before you open the AB gate. It wasn't us. I tried to stop him, but... Oh, come on, it's not like when we open the door really affects the matches, right? It's cool. It's it no, it's not cool. Your team returned quite early, Dio. Did your investigation go smoothly? I guess. Which room did you guys go to? The treatment center. Treatment center? How is that different from the infirmary? Uh, there were these pod things. Look, just go see for yourself, uh. alright? I don't feel like explaining it. You took something from the treatment center, didn't you? Huh? What are you talking about? You did. I saw it too. After we opened the safe, you grabbed something out of it and put it in your pocket. What was in the treatment center safe? Uh, the gun. The injector the... gun. Yep. Show with us what the you did. counter to the poison. Uh, get away from me! Clover shoved her hand in Adia's pocket and began to dig around. It should be in this one. Let go! Before Dio could push her away, Clover found what she was looking for. I knew it! An injection gun? The label on the vial says... Eustigmine. What's this stuff for? I don't know, but... I feel like I've heard that name before somewhere. Give it back! I found it, so it's mine! Hey! You! With a desperate lunge, Dio managed to grab the gun back from Clover. But, but, nim, nim, nim. Before she had a chance before to protest... You've seen Quark. Anyone, please. Uh oh. Quark. Uh, oh. Did something happen to him? We found a pantry on the other side of the red door, but 
after we left, Are he you just... fucking serious? We've looked everywhere, but we can't find him. You think he's lost? Don't you think you're being a little optimistic there? What? Come on, that little jerk's probably dead by now. We've already found one corpse, right? What the hell is wrong with you? How could you? Why would you say such a horrible thing? Whoa, simmer down there. Just saying it's a possibility. Even if it is, we should all be looking for him. Yes! No. You didn't say it was a possibility. You said it as if it was a fact. There's a difference, Dio. As we you began to that. file out, I saw Alice staring intently into the corner of the warehouse. It seemed strange, but looking for Cork was my priority. I turned and headed toward the managed magenta door. Magenta. Magenta. Uh, Back to the lounge. Not here. He might be hiding in the globe. Quark! Are you in here? We're gonna go to the infirmary Guess next, not. and he's going to be in the cube orders. Let's try floor B then. Or we're gonna run straight to a different floor. Okay. Fuck my thought process. Still didn't go to the infirmary? It's weird. And Miyoji's team took the red door. They've probably already searched that area pretty thoroughly. Then maybe I'll try the blue door. Quark! Where are you? He's not here either. Where the hell did he go? Ah, oh, Sigma. Any luck? Nothing. Can't find him anywhere. What about you? Never mind if you'd found him, you'd, you'd have said something already. Indeed. I went to the treatment center, as well as the Floor B warehouse, but he was not there. Oh well. Let's head back to Floor A warehouse. Good idea. Perhaps the others have had more luck. Well, did you find him? Sorry. Couldn't find him anywhere. I... I see. Are the three of you the only others to have returned? Yeah. We're it. I'm guessing you guys didn't have any luck either. Yeah. No clues or anything. I don't get it. With this many people looking, it seems like we'd be able to find him pretty fast. Quark is only a child. It's possible he's become trapped in a small, enclosed space. Well, wouldn't we at least be able to hear him calling for help? Yeah, you're right. Oh. Quark. Miyoji's shoulder slumped. He looked old, much older than he had when we'd met. I see tears glistening at the corners of his eyes. For just a moment, I saw in them all of his pain, fear, and despair, and it felt like someone had put my heart in a vice. And Dio appeared, and the mood suddenly changed. For the better. <laughs> right? Uh. For the better? Uh. Hey! You guys, come here! Yeah. What are you standing around for? They're in the crew quarters. What? Just Knew come it. on! Fucking called it. State will he be in? Probably Super dead. dead. Probably dead. Sounds like dead. Drowned in a sink. People only 
come here to die, apparently. No, oh, about to die. Oof. Huh. Got two of them. No. Killed them both. How? Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. There's a roaring in my ears, breathing, heartbeat, but my footsteps sounded muffled, as if I was hearing under layers of cotton. I pressed a shaking hand to Alice's neck. Her skin was still warm, but the only pulse I felt was my own. Looking down, it was clear why. Something had been driven into her chest so far that only the hilt was visible. The entire front of her body was covered in blood. No one could survive something like that. I forced myself to swallow the stinging lump in my throat and turned toward Luna. From my gallus, at first glance, she seemed unharmed. As I reached for her neck to check for a pulse, however, I saw a red mark near her jawline. Nearby on the floor sat an injection gun. I already knew what I would find, but I pressed my fingers to her neck and waited. Nothing. They're Where dead. Where did they find my the God. secondary injection gun with here? the fucking poison in it? That bastard killed them! Who? Whoever it was that killed the old lady in the AB room. You're saying this mystery person killed Luna and Alice? Maybe only one of them was supposed to be killed, but the murderer had to kill the other to keep them quiet. Or perhaps they killed one another. Luna stabbed Alice in the chest, after which Alice attacked her with the injection gun. That's pretty far-fetched. No, look, it's not. Look at Alice's clothes. No sign of a struggle. I don't think they fought. Then were they killed somewhere else and then brought here? No. If that were the case, there would be much less blood. I guess that's true. Whatever the case, we have too few clues to figure it out right now. We'd all separated to look for Quark. Any one of us could have done it. You mean, the killer is one of us? Do you think there's someone else in here? Well... Do you think that Zero Senior killed these two, as well as the old woman? Hmm... Oh, give me a break! How can you just sit around here talking? No point in making a fuss. Are you fucking kidding me? One of us is a killer. I can't think of a better reason to make a fuss. You do realize you're the most likely suspect, don't you? Excuse me? You wait until the rest of us have gathered in the warehouse. Then you kill Alice and Luna. You pretended to be the first to find them and... Are you saying I did this? I'm just saying it's a possibility. You don't need to get so worked up about it. Ten minutes remain. All players. Please enter your votes. Running out of time. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non vote Luna's a fucking solo. Automatically ally. Whoever goes with her, goes with that one is automatically going whatever pair for them is going to automatically get ally. So if you don't vote, your choice is set to ally. Guess that means Luna's vote will be ally for this round. Yes, it does. Perhaps that outcome is what the killer was after. They killed Alice and Luna for that? Who would Luna's opponent be? Quark and myself. One person is missing and the others bought the farm. I'd say this old fart's the most suspicious one here. You want to say that to my face? He just did. Yeah. You killed her so you could get a few more points in the AB game. Are you an idiot? How do you explain Alice? She's playing against K, not me! Uh, not quite. Even without his partner, Alice, Sigma will still be able to cast a vote as he wishes. Then maybe that's why Luna died. Maybe they meant to kill Sigma, but something went wrong and they... True. I suppose that is a possibility. But we are engaging in pure speculation here. There is little to no evidence to support any of this. Fucking K could've done it for all we goddamn know. Like, stop fucking worrying about it, go fucking vote. Well, we should probably head back to the warehouse. We should take their bracelets with us then. Yes. Huh? Do they really matter anymore? Without their bracelets, some of us would be unable to open the secondary chromatic doors. There are three people me there are three people yeah, there are three people missing. Yep. So if they end up being the same color, it's an auto lose. Yep, calm, pal. Too calm. You did it, didn't you? What happened to Clover? 
I await your further insight. We don't know. We haven't he seen wears her either. A mask, therefore, he is guilty, perhaps. What did you just say? Are you fucking with me? Knock it off. Is there really any point to arguing about this? Agreed. We aren't getting any younger here. I'm a soldier, sister. We should return to the warehouse. Come on, Clover. We gotta go. No! I'm not going anywhere. I can't just leave her here. Clover. If you don't vote, Dio might get out. Huh? He's got six BP right now. If you don't vote, you will automatically ally. And I bet my left arm he'll pick Betray. That'd be three points, which will put him at nine. Once he's got that, there's nothing stopping him from opening the number nine door. I'll try and pick Ally, of course, but Dio's not an idiot. He'll try and stop me or get in my way somehow. Dio will have nine points? What are you gonna do, Clover? If you stay here, you might be letting Alice's killer get away. Fine. I'll do it. There's no way I'm going to let him get nine points. Good. Let's go. Hell yeah. We're gonna have to choose Betray. Because it's just us and K. K's at six and we're at six. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. So press the ally button, gotcha. What do you do you? Took a deep breath and unlocked the AB room. No matter how hard I looked for answers, all I found were more questions. Who'd killed Alice and Luna? Where was Quark? I wasn't in any kind of mood to play along with Zero's ridiculous games, but at this point I didn't really have a choice. I heaved a silent sigh and started toward the entrance to the empty my AB room. Sigma, what would you say to voting ally? I would reciprocate, of course. Sounds cool. Uh -huh. Robo man, high five. You have five BP. If we both ally, then you will gain two points, leaving you with seven in total. Should you also cooperate mutually in the following round, you would gain another two points, bringing you to nine. Conversely, if you were to choose to betray me during this round, you would gain three points for a total of eight. In other words, you will be unable to reach 9 BP until the round following this one. That being the case, choosing ally is the most logical choice. True, but how many points do you have? Me? As I recall, you and Clover chose Betray in the first AP game. That means you should have 6 BP right now. Betray me and get another 3. You could get all the way to 9 this round. Ah, yes, that is true. However, escaping as soon as possible is not my goal. But you picked Betray in the first round, didn't you? That was in the interest of my own safety, as I only had three points at the time. The prospect of losing two of them was very unsettling. Now that I have six BP, I have some room for error. Why wouldn't you want to get out of here as soon as possible? Of course I would like to, but attempting to do so would be unwise. Why's that? Isn't it obvious? If I escape on my own, everyone else will be trapped here forever. Huh. What are you talking about? Have you forgotten what Zero told us? The number nine door only opens once! Once that happens, it's all over! It'll close for good after nine seconds, so if you're not careful, you can get stuck. I trust you remember now? So if someone's opens it and escapes... Precisely. Did you not realize? Hmm. Perhaps I shouldn't have said anything. Hey, don't tell me you're planning to just leave us all in the lurch and take off by yourself. I would never do that. Consider the following. If I did manage to get to nine points before anyone else, do you think the rest of our companions would allow me to leave? Especially knowing that if they did, they would remain here for the rest of their lives? You're a seven foot yes. tall armored monk. It takes a lot for us to stop you. <laughs> well, no, of course we'd stop you. You see? Working toward leaving as a group is the most logical choice for me. One minute remains until at Our time is nearly up. I trust you will choose wisely. Yeah, of course. You too. This means you don't have to voice Alice nope. anymore. Oh, you will. Now, this not this particular path, but 
30 seconds remain until we're going back in time 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 okay i made a compelling argument but i still had to, but i still had to make my choice but he really choose to ally if i chose ally and he chose betray he had nine points and i'd have two still even if he did have nine he might not try and escape right away the question was how much could i trust him how much trust could i give a man whose face i'd never seen 10 seconds remain. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Why do you wait for the last second? Yeah. <sighs> Round 2 of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex Gates, now opening. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention. Told you. That's fine. Double betray here, so net zero on everything. And Mioji betrayed. Here. She's already dead, so fuck it. And then that happened. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. What? So you did indeed choose ally. You tricked me. I apologize. Sigma, you fucking idiot. Now K's got nine points thanks to your stupid ass. But he's not gonna just leave us. I apologize for taking further advantage of your trust, but I will be leaving. What? Or we could react, K slipped past us with speed and agility that belied his size. In the blink of an eye, he was standing in front of the number nine door. Damn it! Wait, you son of a bitch! He didn't give any sign that he'd heard Dio. Just grabbed the lever and pulled it down. What you reasoning this time? Oh no! The number 9 door has been opened. It will remain open for 9 seconds. Very fucking quirk. Why'd you do it? Trusted you. The answer is obvious. Two, excuse me, three people have already been murdered. If I remain, I place myself in greater danger. A simple decision, really. I'm sure you would have done... God damn it, Kate. I apologize. I do intend to contact the police as soon as I have escaped. Now then. Kay? Wait. He didn't even turn around. No one even tried to stop him. No one even tried to stop him. But everyone but gangs up on Sigma the moment he tries to. Actually, it was just K who got to us. To be fair, they all tried to, yes, but K tried. K is the one who got to us. That's because he's a him. robot ninja. Door has closed. Monks. This ends Fuck you. the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the Samurai. game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. So where's Quirk? Dead, probably. <gasps> He's gone. Damn it! This is all your fault, Sigma! There's no point in blaming him now. Yeah. It's not like we can open that door again. Ah, damn it! No, this isn't right. 
This can't be right. We stood there in silence, staring at the door. The only exit to the outside world now closed forever. Our only chance of escape now was to hope Kay would keep his word and contact the police. Alice, Luna, the old woman. We killed them. Where had Quark gone? There were questions we still hadn't answered, but we had plenty of time now. Perhaps we still would. Game over. Well. Yeah, no, game over. It's better to get these endings first. Just then I don't I'm have to backtrack saying... and get them again. I'm not saying anything about that. Okay, where were we? We're over here. Oh, right there. There we went the other way. This okay. is the AB game. Give me that fucking juice. Ally with her leads to here. We can still start down the other way, but that one looks like it's gonna have a secret thing right about here. But I don't know what it could be. Regardless. Well, there's nothing we can actually do. I don't know. Maybe. We have a fair amount of stuff. It's not completely insane. Warp. Watch, this time it's gonna go ally. Maybe. Results because we have to try. from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Game is kind of cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs sometimes. Nope. Quark, the little bastard's gonna run out the fucking door. Love having a net zero. So you pick Betray. Leading to a draw, it would seem. You don't feel bad about it or anything? I could ask the same of you. Okay, yeah, I guess that's fair. I had thought no, you would not. choose ally. If I had, then you'd have 9 BP right now, wouldn't you? Nice try, but I'm not gonna let you get out of here that easily. As I told you before, even if I were to reach 9 BP, I would not necessarily leave immediately. I might yeah, choose to wait until everyone else had also reached 9 BP. Yeah, well, I considered that. It didn't seem likely, for some reason. Then you do not trust me. No. Well... No need to apologize. Trust must be earned in a game like this. Says the guy who told me to trust him so he could betray me. <laughs> Indeed. Clearly, I don't deserve to be trusted. The honesty is refreshing, but that's really not the brightest move. So you chose betray too, huh? If you just picked Ally, I'd have 9 BP right now. Why on earth would I have done that? There's no way Clover would have chosen Ally when you had a chance to betray her and get to 9 BP. Are you an idiot or something? Bunch of smart asses. So you chose betray? Of course. Luna... Luna's bracelet is already off. No risk of a penalty for her now. That brings Quark's BP up to 9. Are you worried that he might try and get out? Well, if he were to do so, the rest of us would be trapped here. Hmm. Bet you're all pretty happy he isn't here right now, aren't you? Whoa, whoa, nobody's saying that. Uh, maybe you aren't saying it, but I know what you're thinking. Shut up, old man. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. Many times as we want, huh? That means we can play the AB game over and over using these star keys, right? We have not played the AB game with a star key once. So nope. it would seem. 
All right. Well, where do we find them? Beyond the next set of chromatic doors. Oh? You found them already? Yeah, that's right. I forgot to tell you guys. Now take a look at the map. If Quark is solo, we're screwed. There are three white doors in the Floor B warehouse. White doors, huh? Maybe that's where Quark went. Or if they're all the same color. The warehouse on Floor B, you said? Yeah, that too. Yeah, but you're not going to be able to get through them until they open. Still got more than 80 minutes until that happens. Damn. And even if... It isn't a guarantee to swap them to so or swap all three dead all three dead people onto the same team. Each time a vote happens, it still swaps it anyway. So once three people are dead, random chance says the game is over because eventually they're all going to be the same color and everyone loses. Well, you can take we the the watches through because the scanner doesn't scan the one. people; it scans the watches. Doesn't but matter. If you miss one watch, you're fine. No, I'm what? talking about the vote thing. the votes that matter if all three if if at any point in time an entire color group does not vote everyone dies time we had a yeah but off that's of an colors, unlikely then. scenario no it is not, not before, you, before at least one person gets to nine yeah it's not at all a everything's being controlled by an ai that's watching what's I don't happening argue about it. b if they keep voting because people keep betraying each other, it's gonna happen anyway because no one's gonna let the other people get to nine. Looks like they've been shuffled around again. Looks like I'm a lose solo. I'm a magenta. Fair. As am I. You and me, huh? Better than Dio, I guess. You say something. What color are you? I'm a green solo. <sighs> What's with the Psy? Forget about it. What about you two? Cyan pair. I'm a Cyan pair too. Alice and Luna's bracelets have changed as well. Both of them are yellow pairs. Then, what color is Quark? He's a red solo. Got very In lucky. To open the white doors, you'd normally need, say, red, blue, and green. But solos can't group together, right? That's why the pairs are magenta, yellow, and cyan. Magenta is a mix of red and blue. Yellow is a mix of red mm. and green. Cyan is a mix of blue and green. So if you combine magenta with green, you get white. And so on. I see. Okay then. We just need to get to the Floor B warehouse when the doors open, right? I'll be taking off then. Where do you think you're going? Anywhere that isn't here. Hanging out with a murderer? Doesn't sound like a good time to me. The guy who insists on splitting up is usually the first to bite it. What? Well, then again, loners often turn out to be killers. Just what are you getting at, old man? You think I kill him? Well, maybe, maybe not. But you're pretty damn suspicious. You're trying to start something, you wrinkled old piece of... Hey, knock it off. Don't actually know one of us is the killer, do we? We have no evidence of that, no. But we do know that Zero Senior is one of us, and there is an excellent chance that Zero Senior and the killer are one and the same. Yeah, but does it seem like that guy's Zero Senior? Then why'd he kill Alice and Luna now? If Zero Senior wanted any of us dead, he could have done it way before this. Well, we were, I don't know, unconscious, for instance? What's the point of setting up this whole game just to kill off two of your participants halfway through? Then are you saying there's another person in here somewhere? It's possible. I think it might be a good idea for us to all look for the killer. Well, we gain nothing by standing around here. Yeah. I've got to find sake, they could have killed so themselves. If we're going to search, we should go in pairs this time. How are we going to pair up then? I'm not going with Kay. If he decides he feels like snapping me in half, there's not a whole hell of a lot I can do about it. I'll go with anyone besides Dio. I don't want to go with Dio either. No. Fine. He's hardly my first choice, but I'll take Dio. What the hell? Just figured that this way we don't have to make this into a huge argument. Besides, 
I'm gonna be stuck with you once we go through the chromatic doors anyway. No reason to put it off. I will go with Sigma. Oh yeah? Would you prefer someone else? No, I guess you're okay. That leaves me and Clover as a pair then. Yep. Looks like we're all set. We'll take the cyan door on floor A and the blue door on floor B. Alright, Clover and I'll take the magenta door and the red door. That leaves us with the yellow and green doors then. Once we're all done, let's meet in the floor B warehouse. Alright? Got it. See you later then. Question. Didn't they say that once you date a room thing that all the rooms associated with it unlocked? You can go back through the doors that have been opened. So we can't go to the fucking laboratory then? Well, no, that hasn't yes. been a door yet. Not showing the gun. Nope. There's no one in the infirmary. No quark, no killer. At least as far as I can see. Well, there is someone here. Technically, at least. The old woman. Oh yeah. She was lying silently on the bed, furthest away from us. If it weren't for the blood stain on her chest and arm, peaceful expression could have fooled most people into thinking she was just asleep. The blood had dried and darkened, and now looked like any other stain. That was when I noticed it. Huh? Wait a minute. Look at her wrist. It seems remarkably clean. Yeah, for some reason there's no blood on this part. Maybe she had something on her wrist. A watch, perhaps. A bracelet. A watch? Yes. It was likely removed after she was killed. That would account for the lack of blood splatter on her wrist. Someone just needed some bling. A watch, huh? I don't know. It just looks like it was kind of wide for a watch. Aren't women's watches usually thinner? You raise a good point. Perhaps it was some kind of jewelry? Jewelry? You mean like a bracelet or something? Wow! Of oh, course! Man. Why God. didn't I see it sooner? This is the same size and shape as our bracelets. Look, it, it's exactly the same width. Then that would mean... She was wearing a bracelet when she was killed. She was a participant, just like us. Are you sure? This old woman, a player in the nonary game. You have an old man. Okay. Is something wrong? Oh, no. Nothing. If you're correct, then where did the thief hide the stolen bracelet? We were quite thorough during our earlier search. Probably on their wrist. But I know that I saw nothing. And none of the others reported finding a bracelet either. And that means they've been holding on to it this whole time. They probably still got it. That would seem likely. No, wait. If they'd been carrying it around, the sensors in the chromatic doors would have picked it would have picked it up. Without the right combination of bracelets, the secondary door would never have opened. So our suspect is not only a killer and a thief, but a skilled imposter as well. Imposter. What are you saying? After killing the old woman, they put on her bracelet. In fact, it is entirely possible they are wearing it still. Yes, that would make sense. So the killer is running around with the old woman's bracelet. Yes. And you're telling me they're probably wearing it. Correct. Do you remember what Zero Jr. told us? Something about how the bracelet will come off if the wearer's heart stops. I don't recall the exact words, but any event, once the old woman had died, her bracelet would have detached, allowing the killer to easily collect it. Why? So that they could participate in the nonary game, I imagine. What? I suspect the killer was someone who was not originally intended to be a participant. For whatever reason, however, they were willing to go to great lengths to ensure that they were. To that end, they killed the old woman, who was one of the original participants, and took her place. But why would someone do that? That? I have no idea. Certainly they must have a goal of some sort. You would have to be mad to choose to come here. But as to what that goal is, and how the killer intends to achieve it, I'm afraid I do not have even speculation. Hmm. That's interesting. Have you noticed something? 
Well, there's blood all over the old lady's arm, except for right here. Since that's where the bracelet was, then the bracelet the killer stole should have blood on it. Right. But none of us is wearing a bloody bracelet. Sigma, please tell me you're kidding. The killer would have, of course, wiped the blood off. Only a fool would walk around with a bracelet covered in blood. But we have access to Luminol. So you're saying they cleaned it? Yes. Hmm. Have you discovered something? Luminol, Luminol. Okay, I know how we can identify the killer. Oh? We just need some of that Luminol. It doesn't matter how well they cleaned it, there should be some traces of blood left. Aha, I see. That could very well work. We should have everyone gather in the rec room then. That is where the Luminol was, I believe. Just have to see if we have to start explaining evidence law. Yeah. First you need to finish looking for Quark though. We've still got the infirmary and everything beyond the green door. If we're done with that, we can head back to floor B to meet up with everyone else. Understood. Shall we go then? <laughs> Tough it out. I'm fine. Just have to yawn. We are in the end stretch of tonight's recording session. It's fine. I can force myself to stay up for 52 hours. Well, Fucking don't. This little bit of time is fine. <laughs> I have well, no, we actually have to walk there. 50 hours. There's three doors here, too. The same as what we found on the other side of the blue door. They're all open! But... Two of them are. Looks like two of them are already unlocked. So it does. The center and rightmost doors both say open. Perhaps the layout here is different. Hmm. Whatever. Let's take the door on the right first. Into the secret room. Gallum Bay? Not much here. What's this room? That looks like a workbench of some sort. Maybe, but what sort of work? Well, we're here to find Quark, not look at a workbench. You go check the far end, alright? Very well. Nothing. It's not here either. Hey, Kay! How's it going over there? Kay! Can you hear me? Kay was bent over with his back to me, peering underneath the thing that looked like a workbench. What the hell? I walked toward him as I spoke. Hey man, what's going on here? Oh, nothing. Bent down and saw I was staring at something that appeared to be a safe. It's empty. Yes. Was there something in there before? No, it was empty when I found it. Was it? Yes. Then what are you doing staring into an empty safe? I was thinking. Specifically, I was thinking about who opened this safe. Wouldn't that have been the team that went through the green door? I think that was Dio, Fi, and Clover. No, that's unlikely. When we met up with Dio, he told us that he had been in the treatment center. The nameplate on this door says this is the Gollum Bay, however. So you're saying they didn't go here? I believe that is the case. Which, as you can see, is why I was puzzled. If Dio, Fi, and Clover did not open the safe, who did? Well, there's no point in thinking about it. We should get back. Yes, there was another unlocked door, wasn't there? Yep. Let's get moving then. I'm so tired. For no Who's been in the Gollum Bay? man dressed as a golem <laughs> or golem so this is the treatment center huh this is the room that Dio visited 
Don't you think that's kind of strange? Until now, all the chromatic doors have led to a single room each. So why are there two rooms on the other side of the green door? An excellent question. We can talk to the others later, I guess, and see if they know anything. Kay and I split up and began to look for places where Quark might have hidden, or small holes he might have escaped through. Oh, hey. Look at that. Huh? What are these? They must be the treatment pods Dio mentioned. Windows all covered with frost on the inside. I can't see in. Shall we open it? Might as well. Have at it. What? Found him. Quark. No. His bracelet. It's. Oh God. Hold on, Sigma. Calm down. Look at his chest. Can you see it moving? What? I quickly pressed his finger down the Quark's wrist. It's faint, but his heartbeat was there. He—he's alive. He's alive. <sighs> what a relief! I'm so glad to know he's safe. I laughed out loud and grabbed Kay in a bear hug, or at least as much as one as I could manage. He patted me on the back and shared what I thought might have been a relief chuckle. But if he's still alive, why is his bracelet off? Zero Jr. said it would only come off if he died. Perhaps Zero Sr. took it off? What? Why? I have no idea. Then maybe Zero Sr. brought Quark here and put him in this pod thing too? Even if he did, we don't have any way to know why. This pod is for medical treatment. Perhaps Quark has contracted some sort of illness. Sick? What's he got? Well, how would I know that? In any event, we should return and let the rest of our companions know that we found Quark. I imagine Tenmyoji in particular will be pleased. Yeah, I bet. Lid back down. Think you can carry him, or...? No. I believe it would be best to leave Quark here. As I mentioned, there is a chance he has fallen ill. If so, then removing him from the pod would be dangerous. The treatment he is currently undergoing could be compromised. Oh. I'll close the pod's cover then. Is that all right? Yeah, sure. Wait, um, I just thought of something. Are you sure he's gonna be all right? What do you mean? Well, what happens if he wakes up? Can he open that thing on his own? He'll be fine. I noticed a lever inside that can be used to open the cover. So long as no one locks the pod, he should be able to leave whenever he wants. But if someone locks him in, he's screwed? Yes, that is what I said. But you needn't worry. You see? I have not engaged the lock. Now, we should return to the Floor B warehouse. I imagine the others are already there. Right, yeah. Okay, let's go. Ding, ding, do, 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 do. I hate it. Warehouse B. You're late. You're one to talk. How much earlier did you get back again? I'd be surprised if you searched at all. This is it? Yeah. Clover and Tenmyoji still aren't back. So, find anything? Yeah, we sure did. Yeah? Well, go on, spill it. I explained to them how we found Quark in the treatment center. I see. Well, that's good to hear. Jerk, making us all worried. There is more. And that is? There is still some cause for concern. Just spit it out. Quark may have contracted an illness of some sort. As such, he has been left in the treatment pod. Will he be all right? Yeah, he'll probably. Probably? Do you even... Whatever. At least we found him. Pretty lucky he's alive, too. What do you mean by that? I mean what I said, genius. I'm glad he's not dead, aren't you? As equivocal as ever, I see. How kind of you to say so. So, was Quark all you found? The way you were talking made it sound like there was something else. Yeah, I'll explain that after Timyoji and Clover get back. There's something I wanted to ask you for you about first, though. 
When you went through the green door, did you search two different rooms? Two? No, just the treatment center. I see. Then what was the other one? What do you mean the other one? You know, where there's that intersection with three doors? Well, when Kay and I went there, two of the doors were unlocked. You guys unlocked the one that went to the treatment center when you went through the green door. But the other one... Who could have opened it? Don't look at me. I told you, we only opened the one that went to the treatment center. Could it have been Zero Senior? No one has gone back no, no. and pulled that mm. lever again. So did you and Kay go through the other door? Yeah. What was in there? Nothing, really. It appeared to be some sort of room for servicing something. That doesn't make any sense. So what the hell was whoever opened that door looking for? Who knows? Ten Miyoji and Clover are running rather late. Should we go and look for them? Damn it. No, there's something I want to check first. It's never easy with you, is it? Well, let's get it over with. Luminal! Spritz, 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 spritz. No? Huh. Yes. This is the yes. rec room. Dio and I came here earlier when we were looking for Quark. So why are we here? Was there something here you needed to see? I said nothing, and instead made my way over toward the cabinet. Inside was the Luminal. I reached in and pulled it out, and headed to the light switch and flipped it. Darkness. The room went dark, and I headed back to where the others, others were still standing. Whoa, whoa, what is this? You gonna start telling ghost stories or something? Why? You scared of ghosts? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Then show me how brave you are. Stick out your bracelet. You too, Fi, please. Our bracelets? Yeah. I want to see the underside of them. What do you mean by that? I mean the side on the bottom. The side that doesn't have the display on it? Come on, you really gotta make me explain this. I know what you mean. What I'm asking is what the hell you think you're- Just do it. It's not hard. Should I also participate? No, you're fine. Your bracelet's a little different from ours. But I'll join in just to make it fair. There was a brief moment of hesitation before Dio and Fi struck out their arms. I held mine out as well, wrist pointed upward. This okay? Fucking talons. Yeah, just hold it like that for a moment. Fast as I could, I pulled the luminol from my pocket and sprayed it across all three of our wrists. Ugh, cold. What the hell, man? Dio jerked his arm back with a shout. Don't see anything glowing. Eyes braced is clean. That was mine, of course. That leaves only Dio. Wait, what are you talking about? I'll explain in a minute. Just show me your bracelet. Is something wrong? Just show it to me. Come on, Dio, we don't have time for this. Why do I have to do what you tell me to? Because I'm trying to prove your innocence. Oh, like hell you are. I don't know what you're looking for. But you're not gonna find it on me. And just show me your arm. No! You don't get to oh order me around, I have boy. rights! As he spoke, Dio made a break for the exit. He didn't get far. I'm afraid I can't <laughs> let you do that, Dio. Yeah. <laughs> he spun around toward the other exit. Stop him. Right! Don't know what you're talking about, but okay. Violence, yes. All three of us left at Dio. <laughs> That's an animation. Newt. His bracelet's glowing. And that means... Couldn't we also Let see that? Go. Anyway, you didn't need to actually hold I'm, him in I'm, place. I'm not gonna... Get off of me, you fuckers! I'm gonna go there. Dio? Kill the old lady. No! You don't understand! This is all some kind of... A mistake! Shit! What's going on here? I think it's about time you gave us the full story. As quickly as I could, I explained to Fi what Kay and I had noticed on the old, on the old woman's wrist. So the person with the bloody bracelet would have to be the person who killed her. Exactly. Even if they'd wiped it off, I figured the luminol would still react to the blood. Looks like I was right. 
We've got you, Dio. You might as well confess. Well? <laughs> Alright, fine. You caught me. I did it. I killed the old bitch and took her bracelet. Why? Are you Zero? No. I was under orders. I was sent here to... to do... something. To do what? Who gave you this order? I'll die before I tell you. So your orders are more important than Alice and Luna's lives? Whoa, whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I killed the old lady, but that's it. I don't know anything about what happened to Alice and Luna. He's one of That wasn't you. Tread carefully, Sigma. This man is not to be trusted. He has already shown he's meant to lie and kill. Come on, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Even if we do believe you, you're still a killer. You just haven't killed as many people. Exactly. He should be restrained somehow. If we leave him be, he may well kill again. But where would we put him? Is there a room we can lock or anything? Ah, perhaps we could put him in one of the treatment pods. Once we've locked it, he should be unable to escape. Oh yeah. Hey, wait! I'll be good, I, I promise! <laughs> yeah, I think you're onto something, Kate. Let's go with that. Come on, please! Hey, listen to me! I like this path. Like we'll let you out when the white doors open. Someone's going to need your bracelet to open the secondary door. Don't fuck with me, you guys. There's no way in hell I'm going in that thing. Let go! Uh -huh. Let me go! God damn it! <laughs> told you assholes I'm not gonna to get let away me go. From him. You can't do this! Stop! Yeah, we can't. Stop! Please stop! Please! No, you can't! I think he can. I very well think he can. I don't think you can stop him. I don't think anybody can stop him. <laughs> open this fucking thing! I said no. open it, goddammit! No! I don't think so. <laughs> You're gonna pay for this! I get out of oh. here, fucking end you! Okay! So, I guess we figured out who the murderer was. And we found Quark. Now all that's left to do is find Clover and Tenmyoji. Or yeah. probably dead. Why don't we head back to the warehouse and start from there? They may have already returned. Good point. Let's go. That's a long path. Exercise. Yeah. Where else be? Nope. Huh. Looks like they aren't back yet. Perhaps they went to look for us. Ah, oh, man. Now we've got to go look for them. How much time until the white doors open? 50 minutes. Then I don't think we really need to hurry yet. Why don't we wait a little longer? For all we know, they're on their way back right now. Kay and I nodded. By the way, there was something I wanted to ask you guys about. Oh yeah? Yeah. Quark's bracelet. When we found him in the pod, he wasn't wearing it. Why? How should I know? Presumably, it had been taken off before we found him. So we have no idea where it is. Pretty much. I see. That's not good. Without that bracelet, we won't be able to continue the game. What? We need three bracelets to open the secondary door. If we lose one... Oh, no. We wouldn't be able to go through the secondary door. Yeah. We'd be pairing up with Quark. Quark's bracelet should be a red solo. That would mean he'd be with the cyan pair. Who's the cyan pair? Clover and Tenmyoji. The two people who are missing. Quark's bracelet is gone, and his two teammates have disappeared. What's going on? Does this mean that Clover and Tenmyoji took the bracelet? Well, if they found Quark before you did, yeah, there's a good chance they did. Then why aren't they back yet? Perhaps they've already gone through the white door. What? No. No, that's not possible. The primary doors haven't even opened yet. Perhaps someone opened one of them. How? I don't know, but it's happened before. 
Remember the three doors on the other side of the green door? Someone made one of them open. Perhaps this is the same thing. But, but that's against the rules. Yes, I know. But if the person opening the doors is Zero Senior, do you really think the rules matter? Zero Senior controls the entire game. So are you saying Clover or Tenmyoji is Zero Senior? It is a possibility. It would explain why they still haven't shown up. Could they really have taken Quark's bracelet and gone through one of the white doors? If they did, we wouldn't know where they went until the doors opened for the rest of us. So I would assume. This is still all just speculation, though. Maybe we should go look for them again. One of us can stay behind so that we don't miss them if they come back. Okay. I'll stay. Sigma and I will go see if we can find them then. Make sure you get back five minutes before the door opens, alright? Oh. And don't forget to bring Dio with you. Of course. Well, likely are they to be dead. Very? Is this the everyone dies ending? Every no, ending is the everyone dies ending. ending. Every ending or one person dies is an everyone dies ending. And true, true enough. This is the pantry. So it would appear. Not much of a fucking pantry. It's got food pills. Give you nutrients. Looks like they're not here. When we started looking for Quark, they were sent off to search everything beyond the red door. Which would have meant this room. Not gonna do us any good to hang around here, though. Let's head upstairs. Very well. I just kind of pointed out, we're having to be awfully chummy with Kay after a double betrayal round with him. Yeah, well. Not like we had much of a choice. I know, because he's a duplicitous insert adjective here. What? Or pronoun. That's a noun. Now. You're right. Insert noun. No one here either, huh? Timmyoji loves scotch so much, I thought we might find him here drinking some. It was around that time I noticed Kay was acting strangely. He was staring at the shelf of alcohol in a way that I probably would have described as blankly if I could actually see his eyes. Yo, yeah, what's up? Want a drink? Oh, uh, no. Well, I would enjoy a drink, but this mask... Right. Sorry, that sucks. Honestly, I'd gotten used to the suit, I kind of forgotten you were wearing it. Why the heck did they make you wear that thing anyway? You still don't remember anything? Well... Actually, I... I did remember... a little. Really? Yes. What did you remember? My father. When, Dad, you remember that? Did it just pop out of nowhere? Please, don't joke. This is serious. Sorry. So, you remembered who your father was? Yes. What about your mom? I... don't seem to have one. I... Oh. So, your dad raised you? Well... Kay stopped for a moment, then calmly folded his hands in front of him. It's also from the future. I was raised in the facility where my father worked. <laughs> That's adorable. Why? <laughs> he was the only person who worked there, which meant he was the only person I saw until I was older. That had been the situation for as long as I could remember, though, so I never thought it odd. Wouldn't allow me to go near him while he was... Oh, sorry. This is you. He wouldn't allow me to go near him while he was working, but 
The only times he wasn't working were the times when he was sleeping. Is this all so I can force you to do three things in one fucking session? Maybe. I mean, BF... Many other characters? No. And three of them are my characters? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And one of them had to be read by your character too? Because it was from fucking, uh... What's his face? Short Kid? Short Kid? Yeah. As such. Yeah, my character the only communication I had was the education software he'd given me. I suppose I was fairly expressionless. I was a fairly expressionless child then. We developed body language to communicate with others. And with no one else to communicate with, I suppose it makes sense. Once I learned to read and write, I began to, reckon to realize that my situation was not normal. Many of the books mentioned a mother as part of a family, and in several, the mother, father, and children would eat meals together and talk to one another. Soon, I found myself longing for a mother of my own. Someone who would always be with me, who would scold me if I did something wrong. At night, they would read to me before bedtime. Only I had a mother like that, I thought, and I would be happy, be so happy. So, for the first time in my life, I asked my father for something. He had finished working and, as usual, was making his way towards his bedroom when I stopped him and asked for a mother. He looked at me silently for a long moment before finally responding, Okay. I remember to this day how happy I was at that moment. moment. A few months later, he called me into his laboratory. It was the first time he'd ever done anything like that. My heart was beating quickly as I stepped inside. Standing next to him was a young woman, and my hopes soared. When he said her name, or rather, her ID number, they were dashed. He had given me a robot to play with, the part of a mother. I didn't want a mother that was just a machine who did what a human told her to do, hold her to. When I told my father that, he looked surprised for the first time in my life. Then he frowned, coughed, and admonished me for being a whiner. He'd never scolded me for anything before. At first I was surprised, then angry. Hot tears streamed down my face. My father ordered the robot to take care of me and shoot us out of the lab. The robot was very convincing and she smiled and spoke as if she was a real person, but I refused to answer her and locked myself in my room. You can talk to a robot and it will respond. But in the end, you're still talking to a machine, not a person. If that's, that was what I wanted, I still had the education software my father had given me. When I ignored the robot as it tried to take care of me, it looked sad. I couldn't really be sad, of course. It was only programmed to look that way. A robot's facade, sadness, didn't mean anything to me. He's kind of giving me some ace vibes. A little bit. As in now you don't trust the robo man? Kind of. Just a little bit. After that, I stopped expecting anything from my father. We'd never really spoken to begin with, so it was easy enough for me to make sure we never saw one another. I lived my life as if he didn't even exist. Perhaps it seems strange to you that I continue to live with him. 
but I never considered leaving. Perhaps in the hidden depths of my heart, I longed for a relationship with my father. Everything changed when I was 18. I left my room one morning to find a woman standing outside of it. She was the first human I had ever seen, apart from my father, and I was understandably surprised. For a moment, I thought my father had created a new robot. But when I told her that she la when I told her that she laughed, and explained that she had come to help me help him. As it turned out, she was a very mysterious person. She was much older than I was, but something about the way she behaved was almost girlish. She would tell me stories about the world outside in such a way that I was never sure if she was telling the truth or making up fantastic lies. Ultimately though, the truth didn't matter. I loved her stories. She wasn't helping my father directly with his research, so I spent most of the my days with her. Before long, I discovered she'd known my father when he was young. She told me stories of how he'd fallen in love as a young man, and I began to imagine that the person he'd fallen up in love with had been her, and that she was, in fact, secretly my mother. After she settled in with us, our long established routine began to change drastically. First, we started to eat together. Before then, I had never shared a meal, meal with anyone in 18 years. She scolded me for my table manners, or more accurately, the lack thereof. If I was going to eat with others, she said, I would need to be more polite. I haven't eaten alone for my entire life. Manners had never been something I thought about. My father got in trouble too, when he made the mistake of reading the research papers during dinner. The look of surprise and embarrassment on his face made me burst into laughter. I couldn't remember the last time I shared a laugh with my father. It might have been the first time. The room we considered our living room changed too. Before, it had just been another room, but she made it more comfortable. After we finished our dinner, I would sit on the sofa and relax with her and my father. Those times were the ones I cherished the most. For a little while, every day, I got the family I longed for ever since I was a child. At her suggestion, I started to help, my, help with my father's research. He specialized in genetic en engineering, and I discovered I had an interest in it as well. Time faded away as I lost myself in research. Now that we were working and studying together, my father and I had a great deal to talk about. For the first time in my life, we began to speak with one another like a father and son. Whenever I impressed him with something I learned, I felt a surge of happiness, and it drove me to study even harder. My days felt full, right, and meaningful. Most importantly, I was happy. Four years passed in the blink of an eye, until one day, I happened to overhear my father and the woman speaking in the laboratory. The tone was serious, so I listened closer, curious to know what they were talking about. That was when I heard her say that she planned to give her life to achieve her, their goals. It was clear that she wasn't being metaphorical. She would have to die. I was in shock. The research I had thrown myself into lead to her death? 
I asked my father to stop his research immediately. He refused to listen. He agreed with him. She told me that she had been prepared for what she had to do since the day she came to our facility. My father had known about it from the beginning as well. Angry and disappointed, I began to investigate what exactly the research I had been helping with was working towards. Perhaps, I thought, I could figure out a way to keep her alive. I discovered much more than I bargained for. To begin with, I learned that the ultimate success of my father's research would require a great, a good deal of sacrifice. I also learned that my own existence, which is another part of his project, I have been created to function at my father's spare. If he died during his research, I was intended to continue in his place. I was stunned. Is he a clone? I was furious with my father, and with her, and even with the research I poured myself into for four years. There's only one thing to do. Destroy the facility and end my father's horrible research once and for all. I made plans to destroy the, react the main reactor and with it, the entire facility. But he saw right through me. My father was livid and locked me in my room until his research was complete. All I could think of was how I might stop him. She did her best to convince me that I misunderstood, that everything would be fine. As much as I wanted to believe her, I remembered in the back of my mind that she had been the one who pushed me to become involved in my father's research. Had that been an earnest desire to give me something to do with my life, or... Still, I couldn't bring myself to hate her. She had given me a reason to live. Even if she had conspired with my father to mold me into his replacement, the warmth she had shown me had been real. She made me feel as if I had a real family, and that was something I would, wouldn't have given up for the world. I pleaded with her to leave, but she quietly shook her head. There was someone very special to her, she told me. He had saved her life once, and she felt her death would help to repay that favor. She would have liked nothing more than to marry him and live a happy, normal life together. But she couldn't. For his sake, she said, and for the sake of the future she wanted, she was determined to see my father's research succeed. I realized then that although he was the most important person in my life, there was someone more important than me in hers. She tried to explain that beyond what we could see was a future where no one would have to die, but I refused to listen. What good was the potential future to me? It was what I had now that I wanted. I couldn't stand to think that she would give her life for a man I'd never even seen. So I shut myself off from the world. Perhaps that is why I lost my, mem my memory. Seem to have gotten back. I would agree. Kay let out a deep, tired sigh. I'm sorry. I lost track of time. It's okay. Not having any memories is less than desirable. But it could be argued that regaining them is almost more taxing. So you remember almost everything? No, the details are still... indistinct. Especially more recent events. Yeah. Um... Sigma, I'm sorry, but would it be alright if I laid down for a bit? What's wrong? I don't feel very well. It must be because I remembered so much so quickly. My head feels like it's going to explode. Are you okay? Yes. I think I just need to rest. Okay. 
Take as long as you need. I'll go look for Clover and Tenmyoji myself. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay, he lowered himself heavily onto the red sofa in the corner of the room. Well, guess I better get moving then. Everybody's dropping like flies. Stepped out of the room and nearly ran into Fi. What are you doing? You're supposed to be waiting back at the warehouse. Yeah, I know. I just decided to go check on you guys. I waited a long time and nobody showed up. Judging by your face, you haven't found them either. Damn. Yeah. Where's Kay? He's in the lounge. You decided to split up? Well, not quite. Instead of waiting for my answer, she opened the door to the lounge and walked in. He's mid sneaking out the other door. Nope. What's up with him? Guess he's not feeling too well. He said he wanted to rest for a bit. Is he alright? I think so. We should leave him alone right now, though. Remember, there's a real person inside that suit. I'm sure he's just tired. Tired, huh? How are you feeling? What? I feel tired just looking at you. Your face is like a week old sock. Really? Well, I guess I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little exhausted. I mean, all of a sudden, I wake up trapped in some weird ass game and then dead bodies start turning up. Honestly, I'm amazed I've managed to hold on to my sanity for this long. Just about everything here makes absolutely zero sense. The more I try and figure any of it out, the more I feel like my branch is gonna melt and run out my ears. You know what I'm talking about, right? Managed to find out who the killer was, but there's still a hundred other questions we have no idea about. Where the hell are we? Why are we here? What's this whole nonary gang thing for? And what is Zero Senior up to? Hell, about but how about who Zero Senior is? The rabbit said he was one of us, but it's Dio? Who knows? Besides, we still don't know why Dio killed them. He said he was ordered to do it, but... And there's more, too. What about the old lady? Who is she? What's her deal? No, oh, what are any of our deals? I don't know jack shit about anybody here. I don't even know anything about you, Fi. Are you serious? You can't honestly suspect me, can you? No, that's not it. I'm just like you. I was kidnapped on December 25th and brought here too. He trailed off. What? <sighs> you heard that, right? Yeah. It came from the hallway. Let's go have a look. Shots? There's nobody here. Maybe they got on the elevator. Let's try hitting the button. If the door doesn't open immediately, then we'll know the elevator's downstairs. Button. Well, they went down. Thought so. Let's go. way? Where do you think they went? Let's just head for the green door. Why? Because the treatment center's there. That's where Dio and Quark are. So? You aren't worried? I just want to make sure they're safe. They're fine. And Miyoji or Clover probably made that noise. Well, maybe both of them. But I don't think they'd hurt Quark or Dio. Are you sure? Huh? Dio admitted to killing the old woman, but he still insists that he didn't kill Alice or Luna. What if he's telling the truth? Are you serious? You're gonna believe him? Doesn't matter. I just want to know if they're safe. No harm in being careful. Nope. Alright, fine. Bloop, bloop. Another door's open as well. 
Oh, I know that one. We already knew that one. Was open. Treatment center. Closed and locked. Headed to the first pod. Cracked open the top and lifted it back. There was Quark, sound asleep. See? Yeah, I guess you're right. I was probably getting worried for nothing. How about Dio? Let's open his. What the hell? Check his pulse! It's pointless to check his pulse, he was obviously dead, but it did anyway. Yeah, he's he's dead. Look. Oops. The oxygen level for his pod says zero percent. Oopsie poopsie. <laughs> and that means he is he asphyxiated. Someone Why? must have tampered with the pod and lowered the oxygen levels. Who? Look, you should go tell Kay about this. Come on, let's go! Without waiting for me to follow, Phi turned and ran off. Took a deep breath and followed. You're, you're at the break! Slip. I think we're already in the stage of it's beyond fucked. Phi and I burst into the lounge and ran up to Kay. Kay, wake up. Something's happened. When he didn't move, I grabbed him by his shoulders and shook. He twitched and quickly sat up. What, what is it? He explained about how we found him dead, and now it looked like he died as a, of asphyxiation. It appeared that someone had reduced, had reduced the oxygen level of his, of his pod to zero. Say you're glad he's dead. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. But then we don't have the math to continue surviving. Everyone has to live. But why? I thought that they dead have was to. the one who killed the old woman, Alice, and Luna. There is more potential for information gathered and things to occur with everyone still alive. Dead people don't help. Then who killed him? He doesn't help anyway. That's maybe not true. The only people who could have done it are Clover and Timmyoji. There's also Quark. What? No. That's impossible. He's suggesting Quark woke up, opened his pod from the inside, killed Dio, and then went back to sleep. No, I'm just saying that strictly speaking, it's a possibility. So just, you know, take it into consideration. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, Mark's too short to touch the panel. In that case, Phi, I hate to say it, but doesn't that mean that you could have done it? Me? Yes, you could have done it any time after Sigma and I left the Floor B warehouse. Don't give me that. I was waiting for Clover and Tenmyoji to show up. I Hello. never did though, so I got impatient and went to it's find you guys. It's not her. I'm then not I saying bumped it into is, Sigma in front of the lounge. She still is a suspect. She went on to explain about the sound we'd heard. I see. So you heard something. Then perhaps it is likely that Clover and Tenmyoji were at fault. Were the two of you together the whole time you were investigating? Yes, we were. You never split up or anything? Nope. Mm. The moment Phi caught us was when we split up. In any event, <laughs> we don't have a great deal of time to discuss it. Oh crap. We've only got seven minutes until the primary door is open. All right, let's get back to the Floor B warehouse. Maybe Clover and Tenmyoji are already there. Oh, but where is Dio's bracelet? His what? Huh? You didn't take it? Dio was a green solo. Phi and I are the magenta pair. Shit. You're right. Without Bid. Dio's bracelet, we won't be able to open the secondary door. I fear not. And we need to hurry. We'll drop by the treatment center on the way back and grab the bracelet. All three of us don't need to go. You two go on ahead. I'll get the bracelet. All right. Oh, one other thing. I need to give you these. The yellow pair of bracelets. Were these Alice and Lunas? Yes. Without these, we would be stuck. So, here you are. Please, take them. I grabbed the bracelets and shoved them into my pocket. All right, let's get going. Shit. They're not here. Maybe they did go through the door, like Kay said. Works bracelet? Or... 
Or what? Oh, come on, man. Better not give me that. Maybe they're already dead crap. I got enough of it from Dio. You gotta be kidding me. This isn't funny, Fi. You're right. The new K, Quark, and I are the only people still alive in here. Hey, lay off. I want to believe they're alive, too. But... I heard a noise and turned. I apologize for keeping you. Did you get Dia's bracelet? Well, technically, yes, but... Huh? Yeah. Best you just see it. This is what I found in Dio's pod. What? Uh -oh. What the hell? Yes. I assume whoever oh, murdered good. Dio did this. But why? There's no point. I can't say for sure, but if I were to guess... Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain. With a bracelet like this, I doubt we can get past the secondary door. That means Kay and I... will... Oh no. Shit, you're, you're gonna... When the time comes, those three doors will automatically close. If anyone is left outside after they close, they'll... They'll be penalized. I see. That's what they wanted. Whoever killed Dio wanted to use the game to kill me and Kay. That's why they broke the bracelet. I think so. It makes the most sense. How can you be so calm? In five minutes you're gonna be... <laughs> Go on ahead, Sigma. You have those bracelets Kay gave you, right? You should be able to get through the secondary door with those. So just... Fuck that. You know I can't just ditch you guys like that. But if you stay here, you'll... Think I don't know that? But what kind of a monster am I if I just leave you here to die? God, God damn it. This was bad. What was I gonna do? I needed to calm down. Just calm down. Calm down and think. Had to be a way to save them. Had. told me about that. Neostigmine is a type of cholinesterase inhibitor. That means it's sort of an antidote for tubocurine. I knew it! Give it back. I found it so it's mine. Of course. The antidote. The antidote? I didn't have time to explain. Took off running toward the exit. Sigma, where are you going? Stay here. I'll be right back. I bolted out of the warehouse toward the treatment room. Better hope it's still there. Better hope it's in use to kill Luna. Well, the super good one wouldn't be used for that. I think Dio put it in his pocket. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please still have it. So it was pouring down my face, but I didn't bother to wipe it off. There wasn't time. Doug frantically do his through his coat until Aha! Got it. Got it. Oh. There's only one dose. The injection gun uses the whole bottle at once. <laughs> Shit. Can't save both of them. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. One minute? Shit. Spun around and shot out of the treatment center. Three, two, one. Chromatic doors closing. Fuck. Too late. No, oh, you 
gotta be kidding me. Oh dear. Sigma. There was a sharp, quick pain on my wrist, but barely even noticeable. Couldn't feel anything flowing into my veins, but I knew it was there. First to be the anesthetic, super real. I blinked and my vision started to blur. When I tried to think, it felt like my mind had been stuffed with cotton. My legs began to wobble, then gave out entirely as I crumpled onto the floor. No, couldn't fall asleep. I had to give one of them the antidote before my bracelet injected me with terpocurine. With every ounce of my strength I could muster, I forced my eyes back out, back open. Give it to yourself? Kay and Phi lay limp on the floor in front of me. In my right hand I could feel the injector gun, with its precious cargo. I could only pull the trigger once. Who was I gonna choose? Phi or Kay? No, what was I thinking? There was only one answer. Phi. I didn't even have a choice. After all, Kay's entire body was covered in impenetrable metal. Sorry, Kay. Summoned up as much energy as I could and dragged myself toward Phi. And what felt like an eternity, I was finally within arm's reach. No time to waste, I pressed the gun to her arm and pulled the trigger. I injected you of neostigmine. It's a type of colon esterase inhibitor. It's the antidote to the muscle relaxant. Why did you pick me? Because I can't use the injection gun on K. It never get through the metal. Then why didn't you inject yourself? <laughs> yes, you've got a point. Honestly, didn't even cross my mind. You're the biggest idiot on the planet. Hey, come on. Is that any kind of thing to say to somebody who's about to die? About something more tender? No. Screw this. I don't want to live if it means being in debt to you. No goddamn way. I'm not... Gonna... Words slurred and slowed and her eyes fluttered closed. She wasn't dead, of course. I could hear the faint sound of her breathing and see her chest rise and fall. Good. Five's gonna be alright. But Kay... I looked over in his direction. That's when I noticed it. Open. There's a hole here, back of your head. Looks like you insert something. It says open, so maybe if you put some kind of key in there. You could open up the suit and take the mask off. Wait, then he... But... When could he have... How he'd gotten it didn't really matter anymore. What did matter was that Kay had been able to remove his armor. He had. Holy shit. Then that would mean Theo's killer is I coaxed as I coaxed as much strength as I could from I coaxed as much strength as I could from my increasingly lethargic body and crowd toward K. K. Wake up. Come on, talk to me. Grabbed his shoulder and shook him until he finally shifted and spoke. Sigma. Just need to know one thing. Did you kill Dio? You weren't sleeping, were you? After I left, you took off your armor. You didn't want to go the same way I had, so you took the other door. After you went the long way around through the warehouse and the crew quarters, you headed for the elevator. There's so much running involved in this plan you're saying you managed to do. That's a long ass fucking run for him to just 
that now. Huff, 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 huff. <laughs> I bumped into Fi and we went back to the lounge to check on you. We saw you, or we saw your armor, I guess. But then you would have been out of it. While we were in the lounge, he went to the treatment room and killed Dio. He must have turned off the oxygen to his pod, though you probably didn't stick around to make sure he died. Betting you were in a hurry to get back before Fi and I noticed something was up. I am immune to anesthesia. <laughs> Once you got back to floor A, you needed us out of the lounge, so you made a noise in the hall to lure us out. Then you ran around and took the long way back to the lounge so you could enter through the rear door. <laughs> so much running! <laughs> huh. Olympic fucking half -leap. I mean, it did say he was weirdly fast in his all-metal suit. Once you were there, you put your suit on again and waited for us. Since we found Dio's body, we did exactly what you'd expected. Okay, wake up. Something's happened. Ken did the wake up, very disoriented and confused. What is it? Come on, Kay. I'm almost out of time. Did you kill Dio? Mm. Yes, your reasoning is correct. I... I killed him. Why? Because I couldn't forgive him. He took the life of someone very important to me. I couldn't... Who did he kill? The... The old woman. What? She was like mother to me. She showed me how to see... how to see meaning in my life. Wait, are you saying... Yes, I am. She was the woman who came here when I was 18. Whoa, hold on. What do you mean here? Sigma, unfortunately we are out of time. There's... Something I have to tell you. I made a promise that you would hear it. Do you understand? This is very important. You must pay attention. You cannot forget. Forget? It wasn't making sense. I was about to die. How on earth would I be remembering anything for more than a few seconds? If you see a lion with two heads, Devouring the sun. Remember, remember these letters. M I L K E V O L I. One of you got it? Just a second. Make a shot taken. Got it. This will open the second gate. What the hell? Hey! Kay! Who told you to tell me this? No. Who are you? Show me. Show me who you really are. Grabbed the hold of Kay's mask and tore it off. What? No, that's... That's impossible. That face. My face. I felt a sharp pain on my left wrist, and my body collapsed unceremoniously. We are immune to anesthetic! <laughs> Second drug. Tupocurine. Vision began to blur, and my head felt unnaturally heavy. What the fuck? The world faded away, and my consciousness slipped dead in the cold, dark waters of nothingness. Immune. Immune to anesthetic. Immune to anesthetic. Hmm. So is fucking K, apparent. Well, Sigma 2. But that's K's end. K for clone? 
That's a yes. stretch. <laughs> that is a very <laughs> big stretch. That's a stretch. You the got it in one, K for we're clone. We're probably the clone. <laughs> and he's probably genetically engineered in a vat. Because there were vats in the, in the lab. Mm-hmm. And then again, we both could be clones of uh, Numbnut. Okay, Zero and who seems like they were abducted back in 2025. 2028. <laughs> Don't quit yet. Why not? Because we've seen the lion, you can go back and just. That is, it is six in the morning, and this particular part is an hour and 45 minutes long. <laughs> Oh, that's such a cliffhanger. I, 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 uh, I kind of agree with him. We do know where the lion with two heads eating the sun is. And I you know really, exactly where it is. really want to click those buttons. Cool. <laughs> we'll see it next time. Okay. Uh, I'm good for tomorrow if y'all.